the type of paintings that I do. And so I think, you know, you put all those things together and I think it's been a very positive influence for me since childhood. And what I try to do in my artwork is incorporate the positive aspects of New York. New York City gets a lot of negative press. At times you hear a lot of the bad things about New York, but you don't hear the good things. And sometimes I feel like an ambassador of my city, and I want to portray my city as a wonderful place to live. I have a good time living there. I had a wonderful childhood there, and I still have a good time living in New York, and I'm very proud of my city. So I try to portray it in a very positive aspect. Versuchen wir es jetzt mal ein bisschen Gewalt zusammenzufassen. Er sagt natürlich, er ist schon als Bürger von New York natürlich von dieser Stadt beeinflusst, die eben so voll von Leben ist und so voll von verschiedenen Leben auch, von verschiedenen Kulturen, was dort passiert an Musik, an Kunst, an allem ist so variantenreich. Das fließt natürlich bei ihm ein und er sagt, er möchte mit seiner Kunst eben auch den ganzen Kritikern widersprechen, die eben viel Negatives hier auch nach Deutschland zum Beispiel bringen, denn viel Positives geht eben immer noch von New York aus. Und ähm, da würde ich jetzt auch gerne mal kurz noch auf ein Bild zu sprechen kommen, was ich von Ihnen gekauft habe, das ist Ihnen auch bei der letzten Vernissage hier. Das ist ein Bild, wo einmal die Freiheitsstärke sehr groß zu sehen ist, aber nebenan auch genauso groß äh, das World Trade Center. Und es wurde nach dem 11. September gemacht. Also ähm, es stand nicht mehr dort und trotzdem steht unten drunter, you can't destroy freedom. That's the painting I got from you, the 3D graphic. Um, which also means like it was destroyed, but still in our mind you can destroy freedom. So how, how uh, difficult was it to think positive after 9-11? Wie schwierig war es denn überhaupt, so positiv weiterzumachen nach den Anschlägen? Well, I think 9-11 affected New York is tremendously, but it wasn't only about New York. I think it affected the whole world. Because I, I feel New York is the whole world, because it is such a multicultural society. And of course, at first, we were shocked. And then there was a time period where we were scared, we were nervous, we really didn't know what was going on. Um, and then after a while, once it sunk in, I think it makes a place like New York stronger, because it's the people gathered together. and. You know, you might be able to destroy a building and, you know, terrorism is, is a horrible thing and sometimes you just can't stop some of the horrible things that go on in the world, but you also can't stop freedom, you can't stop the belief system, you can't stop democracy, you can't stop certain aspects of society, and you can't stop good people and, you know, Uh, doing such a piece like that is a statement, a personal statement for me, because I was personally effect affected by it. My own brother was in the World Trade Center the day that uh, the planes flew into it, and he was one of the lucky ones that got out alive. So, um, you know, things like that happen, but I think in the long run, I think people are good. And I want to believe in them. I want to believe in the positive nature of society. I want to believe in the positive aspects of the world. I want to believe in hard-working families that believe in working hard and taking care of their families. And I'm of the beliefs that even though people are different, and I don't care what religion, background, if you're Muslim, if you're Jewish, if you're Christian, no matter what background you come from, We all have more in common than we don't. And I think we can live together despite our differences. <laughs> Thank you.